Happy Valentine's Day. It's Gina, and today I did a get ready with me with this look. I used the new, what I got for Valentine's Day, Too Faced Bonbons palette and Love Flush blush palette. This is what I got for Valentine's Day. Wait, think. I love them. Let's see if we can do it like this. Oh, my face is too small. Anyways, okay, hoping to get a thumbnail out of that. Can you tell? <laughs> so, hope you enjoy, and um, I hope everybody has a great Valentine's Day. And if you want to see how I got this look on this old 50 year old skin, then just keep watching. And if you like what you see, subscribe, like, and share. Love you guys. Have a great Valentine's Day. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are. Real quickly, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to put on today. And then you don't need to see foundations. But um, basically, this my face is getting better. You can see that there. I still have some of the residual and some nail polish on my finger I tried to polish my nails but I'm still growing out my latest lapse in judgment of acrylic nails um, I had them on for Christmas which they were really pretty I loved them but um, yeah they don't like me and I I can't I get one fill and I'm like done sometimes I don't even get the one fill but anyways okay so I'm gonna do um, <clears throat> prime and I think I'm going to use this today the it cosmetics Celebration Illumination Foundation. It looks like this. And uh, it's really pretty. I think that's what I'm going to use. So um, let me get my face on and then I'll be right back. Okay. So I think I have my face on. I went ahead and filmed that fast forward so you guys could see it if you want to. I'll put all that at the end of the video. Um, and I don't have my curlers in my hair, it's just blow-dried so far. These are what I got for Valentine's Day from my honey. I'm so excited! Now, he went and bought me this one. I had to go three cities away to get this one, and I got the last ones, two of them in the Tri-County area because um, he was at work and he didn't have time to go and he tried and tried and tried and tried and tried for a long time to uh, pick these up and they were out and so I just started calling other towns because I knew that was what he was going to get for me and um, is that not just the cutest box you've ever seen? Like, ever seen? Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, and, no. Out, 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 out. Macy's out. Ulta out. The website out. Well, I just started counting. As I started calling all the places in the county. I know this is going to blind you, but I just want you to see. If you haven't already seen this, look how cute it says chocolate. And this is the Chocolate Bonbons Palette by Too Faced. It looks like this. And these are the colors. And so here we go. I'm going to be using this one right here. All over the lid. I 
I wish I knew what everybody did for Valentine's Day. That would be fun. I, of course, am going to church this morning. And um, for those of you who don't know, I'm on the worship team, play, piano player, singer at the, on the worship team at our church. And I work for the church, so I'm always there. Um, I'm not always there. I mean, I do miss, but... I'm really bad about missing on Wednesdays, but we have practice on Wednesdays, so I can't really miss too awful much. <sighs> okay, and then uh, just as a shader, just a light little shader, I think I'm going to go right up above it into this one. And just start shading in the transition. Same brush, I'm using it. It's fluffy. It'll be a little quicker. Um, so we're going to do that this morning, and I, um, I got little, uh, bags for my two kids and my grandbaby of, um, just some candy, some junk, like we all really need junk. We don't need no junk, but that's what we're having. Um, and then honey, he wanted the new movie that came out Tuesday the Bond one, so I got him that, filled his bag up with candy, and then he got, he's a Broncos fan, oh, since I've ever known him, he didn't deviate, you know how people jump team to team if their winning team isn't winning that particular year, no, he'd been a Bronco fan ever since I've ever known him, so we had a good Super Bowl day this year, and uh, so right after, he was like, I bet you QVC is going to have sportswear on right now. And so he was like, sure enough, he went on there and yep, there it was. And so he bought him the sweatshirt, the Super Bowl 50 sweatshirt. Um, we kind of do that on holidays, kind of pick what we want. And that way we get what we want. Um, but we tr still try to make the day special. Like, we'll go out to our favorite restaurant, which is a local little Italian restaurant called Angelini's. Um, I'm going to go in this right here, this one right here, and um, with a smaller defining brush. Um, I've had a few people tell me that I'm high-end, and I try to be drugstore. I usually have to return it because I'm not so allergic to everything that it just seems like I have to return it so it's just easier. But um, I do have some old Mary Kay brushes that I'm going to use today along with my IT brushes. <laughs> but um, I'm just going to use this smaller Mary Kay Mocha. So the first one, I'll just tell you, I got my glasses on. The first one I used was Cashew. Chew. Oh, how cute is that? Cashew Chew. The second one I used in my transition was called Almond Truffle. I'll memorize these names because I'm sure that I'll probably do other um, things. And then what I'm doing right now is Mocha. And then I'm going to go, I already know I'm going to go into Bordeaux, which is the, the whole entire reason I wanted this. Now, I'll be honest, I thought it was a little more... Um, Bordeaux, I mean, I thought it was a little more of a burgundy color, but really it's got a lot of browns in it. Um. So it's not, I'm, I'm still, I want Makeup Geek uh, Central Perk. That's what I want. I really, really want it. I just hate to go on a website and buy a shadow or go on any, you know, site, pay the shipping to get something and buy a anything. And so what I do is I get everything I want and then I feel like I went overboard. I, I just, I can't make myself do it. So I just haven't done it yet. But anyway, so we're going to darken up this shade, this uh, crease a little bit with this... Uh, mocha color right here that I was using and um, now at night tonight when we go out to dinner I'm sure I'll darken this up a lot 
but I am going to church and be on the platform today. So I probably won't go too crazy. Yesterday I tried them on and <laughs> I did this pink shade with the Bordeaux and then um, this pink on my lid. It was so bright. Uh, it was pretty, but it was bright. So I will probably have to tone that down a little bit. Age appropriate, right? But it, they're so pretty colors, like, look at that color. Is that not so pretty? If you guys want uh, swatches, let me know. Well, I'll do. I'll do a first impressions video and put it up, I don't know, this week, sometime probably. Not today, i got to get ready for church. Okay, clearly I can see I have more on this side, so i got to keep going with this side. Um, you know, I don't normally film while I'm putting my makeup on, so this is an experience for me as well. And I definitely, the older I get, realize that the hooded part of my eye is getting bigger and bigger. I'm going to take that same brush that I used a while ago, which again is an old Mary Kay brush. Um, and uh, diffuse those lines. Um, so back to what we're going to do. So we'll go out to Angelini's um, for dinner, which my, my favorite meal is a salmon pasta. It's got a piece of grilled salmon, and I, uh, I get gluten-free pasta, which is a splurge, and I realize that. But I, they have gluten-free pasta for me. They well for anybody, but they have it, and um, I've only had it two or three times ever. Um, I had it on my birthday one time, and then I had it at Christmas time, so we're going to go there, because it happens to be both of our absolute favorite meals is at this one restaurant. His is clam sauce and linguine. Linguine and clam sauce, I guess that's how you call that. Um, pretty much no matter where he goes, if it has linguine and clam sauce, he's going to go. But this particular restaurant is his favorite. Okay, so, so far that's what we've got. And then, what I think I'm going to do, because there's a little bit of shimmer in that, I'm going to go in this one right here, um, which is called Molasses Chip. Ooh, it's so pretty. This one right here. I love the name. I'm going to put that on the lid. Get a little shimmer down. Now I'm doing it light, I'm not using a like a specific brush to really pack on the glitter because again I am gonna be on the platform. I'm gonna go in looking like a jazzy, you know. That's for other days. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> ah, I kill myself sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to go in with an even smaller brush. Let's see. I think I'm going to go in with this little bitty tiny brow brush. Again, a Mary Kay brush into the Bordeaux. And I'm going to line my eye with it. And tonight, I will really uh, add a lot of Bordeaux. For Valentine's Day. Since this is the reason I wanted it, I better use it, huh? So pretty. If you have this palette, or you're thinking about this palette, and there's specific colors you're wanting to know about, let me know. I'll make an eye out of it and show it to you. Um, that 
that got a little bit thicker than I really wanted. This is the eye that I've had two surgeries on, so it's really, I don't know, it's sometimes very difficult to deal with because it, uh, it has a couple of scars and, um, and it also has kind of quite a lot of, uh, this one doesn't have one, of like little skin tags. See those there? There, 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 there. There's a, some scarring up here. There's a really deep scar right here. But there's just nothing I can do about that. So anyways, I'm going to go under the eye as well. Really tight up against the lash line. Like that. I don't know if you could see that because I was like, looking away. With that dark color, I'm just going to go really, really at the tight line. And then with a small blending brush, I'll probably go in with this first color again. I'm sorry, the second color that I used. And I'm just going to blend in there. Okay, I think that might be about all I'm going to do today. Now clearly, this eye over here is a little darker. Can you see that? Pretty though. I think I might just because I can go in I think I'm going to use that same brush I'm going to take a little bit more of that molasses chip right here get a little bit more of that shimmer on that eye in the center look at the fallout right there Tell ya, my makeup has creased on me. I hope I could get that dry down a little bit better. Um, see, once again, that's why I don't really use the drugstore because I just don't have as good of a look with drugstore pro products. I try to, but I don't know. So I'm going to go in with the hourglass dim light. I don't mean to be judgmental or whatever. Because I love that wet and wild reserve your cabana. But it clearly creases. Okay. So let's use our pretty, pretty blush. And I already know which one I'm going to use because I want to. And it is called I Will Always Love You. Which is this one. That's the reason why I wanted the palette. This one right here. With my It Cosmetics brush. Blush brush. I love the brush. This is the first time I've used this. I haven't even swatched it. I'm not going to contour or bronze my face today. Ooh, I about dropped my brush.
yet. I might bronze and I definitely will highlight. Okay. I'll probably go back in with a little bit more blush in the end. And I will put my eyeballs on and I'll be right back. I'd show you what I live around every day with my fan because I'm a 50 year old woman <laughs> this is gonna sit here because I think I'm gonna try to sit my camera on it while I film well we'll already know if that was working or not clean a few brushes last night this, one, this is how I dry this one I hate double-ended brushes I was trying to catch it. It's not way up here. It's way back there. <laughs> oh, that's Gina for you. Yeah, you never know how, where to lay him and do stuff. But yeah, this is the mess I said. Oh, and my coffee. With my mini cup. And my magnifying mirror because I'm old. That's nasty, dirty. 
So this is what we're surrounded by today while I do this. I just thought I would show you. This is what I do every day.